Doc Chambers here. This is the 1st of January, 2024, somewhere down in Texas. Fellow citizens and compatriots, we are besieged on all sides by forces that threaten the Constitution and the Republic of the United States of America. We've sustained a continual multi-pronged attack upon everything we wore our uniform to protect and defend. The enemy has demanded compliance with an obvious systemic dismantling of our Constitution. Figuratively, we've answered the demand with a cannon shot. And although our Constitution has taken a beating, our flag still waves proudly from the walls. We shall never surrender or retreat. Understand that I'm about to read the opening paragraph from an open letter to the American people with over 200 signatories of this Declaration of Military Accountability. In the course of human events, it sometimes becomes necessary to admonish the lawless, encourage the faint-hearted, and strengthen the weak. We have reached just such a time in our history. The affairs of our nation are now steeped in avaricious corruption, and our once stalwart institutions, including the Department of Defense, are failing to fulfill the moral obligations upon which they were founded. Standing upon our natural and constitutional rights, we hereby apprise the American people that we have exhausted all internal efforts to rectify recent criminal activity within the armed forces. I'm not going to take away any more from the words that were written by multiple writers. One in particular we'll be talking about the love for this country and the continued service to her and that her constitution, our constitution be defended against all forms of evil and tyranny. Understand the intent proposed to this pursuit is the restoration through accountability. We call on you in the name of liberty and patriotism and everything dear to the American character to come to our aid with all dispatch. If this call is neglected, I am personally determined to sustain myself as long as possible and act like a soldier who never forgets what is due to his honor and that of his country. Lieutenant Colonel Chambers, retired. God bless America. Let's get after it, folks.